Okay. I'm gonna make a video again. Oh, I haven't done this for so long. This is actually confusing me now. All right, that's why I'm gonna put on these headphones. Uh, oh, they look brand new. Okay. Um, they look so dull. Why are they all black now? I used to have a little bit of red tint on it. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I gotta turn on these lights. Um, oh, okay, that's bright. I am light sensitive. Okay, um, what else? Um, oh, yeah, uh, introduce this week's mascot. Um, you guys should already know what his name is. If you don't already know, then you are not an OG Mighty Eagle fan. Every single person who knows me well enough should know that this emu is called T- uh, Wait, no, um, we can't call him Timmy. Um, uh, Ta- No, uh, t you know what? Forget everything I just said. Um, he's just gonna be here, chilling here for the rest of this video. So, um, yeah, um, good boy. Anyway. <laughs> Happy New Year everyone! It has been um, exactly one year since I made my last video. Now why has it been exactly one year? Because my last video is the same series as this video and literally this is the only series which is important to me because if I miss out on one of these videos then I pretty much miss out on the entire series. One of these videos is very important for continuity so um, it is what it is. Of course it isn't important to you guys since I'm literally just talking about myself throughout this whole series and how to improve myself and stuff about myself that not a lot of you guys will be interested but yeah I guess this is the reason why I haven't been uploading for a whole year. Right? It's because I don't give a flying dungus about you guys, huh? You guys duck. Okay, who the heck uses the word dungus? Freaking 20 and I'm still using these- Wait, I'm 20? I'm 20? Something does not add up. Hey, yo. I still feel like a 13 year old at heart. Okay, so. 2023, the year of a- uh, Easy essay plagiarism, nuclear dolls, even more invasions. Jeez, I feel like I say that every single year. End of long waits, uh, reunifications, and sexy mugshots is now over. And now we have entered the year of 2024. The year that was supposed to send humans to Mars? But apparently Elon Musk has not done his part. Instead, he's just chilling at Twitter. I mean, X. Doing, I don't even know what he normally does with his spare time anymore. So 2023... It was a good year. Better than last year for me anyway. And probably for you guys as well. Something I haven't said since the 2019 New Year's video. So many cool things happened to me this year and for the world. You know, COVID is not a big concern anymore. We can actually just fly all over the world without worrying about anything because we're free to go about any place we want it now. We know how to deal with this stupid disease now. I also got my big boy driver's license, which actually landed me a couple of, uh, Pretty amazing jobs. And you know, there's not really any stab in the back like there has been in the past few years. So, yeah. But the problem is I uploaded the grand total of four videos on YouTube. One on this channel, and that was the mandatory video, like I previously mentioned, just like this one. And three on my road trips channel, which, by the way, if you're into Australian roads for any reason, you should definitely give it a watch. So, yeah, my line of channels has not been doing so good. Yikes. And, you know, th there is a good reason for this. Um, I'll just explain this for a minute. I have more important things on my plate that I have to chew off at the moment, all right? I mean, uni with two jobs and a computer that blue screens every two hours when Premiere is running. And you know, I just need to focus on my career instead of my YouTube career, which is still my career, but it's something on the side. And I don't have time to do that much on the side at the moment. I need to develop as a person, not as an influencer, even though it definitely would be cool, but I'm not doing that! So pretty much it's just neither viable nor fun for me to make YouTube videos anymore. But, that being said, if you have plenty of experience using Adobe Premiere Pro before and could edit somewhat decent videos with a lot of attention to detail and also you have a bit of time on your hands, I've got the job offer for you! Big Boss Oscar! Coming in with the job offers, how are you doing? So for every single video, I will personally pay $4 for every minute of video that you can edit for me. My videos are around like 20 to 25 minutes long, so you can pretty much earn a hundred bucks per video that you edit. If you're good at a job and can do it really fast, that will probably take around like three hours. So you can literally get paid $33 an hour. That's like double of what you can earn at Maccas. 
And you don't even need to leave your home. No paying for transportation, just electricity. And you can do it anytime you want as well. I'll give you like a um three day window to edit. So you can choose your own schedule. I'll set the video project out for you. Uh, and then you can make whatever final touches there is to make. And I'll also guide you every single step along the way if you need any help. But hey. No purposely trying to make videos longer just so that you can earn more money. In fact, you should be aiming to do the opposite. Have shorter videos so that the audience don't get bored as quickly. I will be double checking the videos, so um, I will find out if you're trying to do some sketchy stuff. So yeah, if you're interested, contact me via Instagram or Discord. Link is in the description. Okay, so enough about our job offers that has nothing to do with New Year's. New Year, new me! Wait. Did you just try to say something to me? Wait, you tried to say something to me, didn't you? What, 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 what exactly were you saying? Huh? Come on, spit it to my ear. That's what she said. This mascot is going to be a, a little bit problematic, huh? <laughs> Time to jump in with our new year resolutions! So, my last year's resolutions was um, to upload at least 30 videos, uh, complete at least 5 uni courses, and have a earned spend difference of no less than $200 a week for at least 80% of the weeks in 2023. Um, that is very hard to calculate whether I passed or not, and say as well, quite a tongue twister. So, you guys already know that I didn't complete the first one. Why would I have? It's typical Oscar. Five uni courses though? I have Comp 1010, Plan 1001, Comp 1511, Code 1231, and Comp 1521. And the last one that I can't even say, why did I make it so complicated on myself? Well, I mean, I haven't, but uh, it was more than last year. And it also would have passed the simpler 2022 version of that same question, which is, you know, $18,200. Which, well, the first digit started with a 2, so I easily broke past that. I think I might not have been 80% because I was, like, on and off with work for all the time. And I went on a lot of holidays, so it would not have been 80%. It would be probably, like, something like 30 or 40%. And plus, Including the spend difference? Like, come on! That, that makes it so hard to calculate. Uh, I guess... I guess I intended to use like a spending tracker. So, um, that would make it a lot easier. But obviously, I did not have time to make one. So this year, let's just completely get rid of that last question. Since you should not ask a man his wage. Anyway. Replace it with a fitness goal. Uh, typical for my demographic, really. And also decrease the needs of my first resolution. Because, well, you know that 30 isn't going to happen anytime soon. And increase the needs on my second. So yeah, upload 15 videos this year, 6 uni courses, and bench 102.5 kilograms. Let's do this. Watch me fail all three. <laughs> all right, final segment of this video. Questions of time. 51 questions I ask myself every single year to see the differences throughout the years that are um, also very uncomfortable to answer at times. Unfortunately, 2019 Oscar was in a rush when coming up with all of these questions. So um, they're not good for questions that I keep asking myself over and over and over again until Whenever this series ends, uh, I don't know when that would be. I'll probably still be doing this even after I quit YouTube because, like, I can't end the streak. Whatever, they're horrible questions, but hey, this tradition has been going on for four years now, so um, I gotta make it a fifth. Otherwise, yeah, disaster will strike. Okay, let's go. My name is Oscar Liang. I am 20 years old. Today is January 1st, 2024. Monday. Like four really close ones and then a whole bunch from church and online and stuff like that. They aren't that really close, but you know, I still care about them. Shut up! I've got a new job as a coding tutor for children and I also got approved for a bunch of contracted delivery jobs because of my full license. Uber Eats, Menulog and Amazon Flex, the latter of which is actually carrying my bank account. Pay varies anywhere from 300 per day to 450 a day, which is um... Ooh, that's so good. Woo! I've been waiting for this question, even though it's only the seventh one. Those of you who follow my Instagram already know this, but uh, 
BMW 289. All this time hoping for it in the series. Dream finally came true. My keys are attached to my wallet so that I don't lose them. iPhone 14 Pro, currently using it to film this video. Woo. It's um, it's hard to choose a single favorite song for now, but I do have a Spotify playlist called uh, Straight Up Fire that contains pretty much all of my favorite songs. If I had to choose a single one, I'd probably say uh, I Feel It Coming by The Weeknd. It really depends on the context. Blue mostly. Anything with a uh, high protein and calories. Those of you who are into bodybuilding probably know why. But most of the time they taste awful. So um, I'm gonna have to say fruity from bubble tea stores. Why am I being asked kindergarten questions as a 20 year old? Eagle, all right, it's in my name. No, shut up, I said eagle, not emu. Uh, probably like my fifth or my sixth. It is what it is. Oh, Tottenham Hotspur, but like, <laughs> I haven't really watched them play since like two years ago, so um, I wouldn't really say I'm still that much of a fan. Um, especially since this man left and went to Bayern Munich, which is um, a team that I am starting to like now because of it. But yeah, uh, I'm not doing good as a Spurs fan, am I? So I'm about to graduate soon and um, I still haven't really decided like what path in order to take but eventually i still want to land at the big three google apple microsoft oh that would be such a dream so you know guys i already you know accomplished this goal um but if i were to get another car i would want to get something that is fast luxurious big could go off-road and is a hybrid for the reasons listed on the screen right now. The perfect one that matches all five is uh, the BMW X5 xDrive 45e or the 50e. 695 on my main channel, 293 on my road trip channel, 164 on Instagram and two on Twitch. I finally got employed in a job that actually has a real boss. It only took me like 19 years and 11 months. Most people I know get it done when they're 14. Nah, not this year. But who knows, the next time that this question ends up being yes, it might be my future wife. So, um, hmm. So, okay, so this one is a bit of a hard one. Because the answer is no, but also yes at the same time. The thing is, this person passed away in 2021. But if you remember the 2021 video, uh, I said this, no. Two years in a row, let's keep that up. There's a bit of a complicated story behind all this, which I don't think you guys are gonna understand. So, um, yeah. But you know, I have experienced a modified version of grief this year. So um, if that's what you wanted to know, yeah. Fifth year in a row, I did not leave Australia, but just the interstate trips. I visited Brisbane twice, Gold Coast once with the fam, Canberra once and Adelaide once first time in 13 years and almost died whilst coming back. The right to work as a UNSW shooter and also the right to work as an Uber driver. Although I have heard the uh, dangers of the second job and will definitely be uh, a little bit open-minded. 2nd of June, 2023. That was the day that the deal to acquire this bad boy was complete. And also um, when the final part of Manifest was released. 2nd of June, 2023. That was the day that the deal to acquire this bad boy was complete. Wait, why did that line sound so familiar? 30th of October, 2023. That was, the, uh, that was the day that I lost a fight against one of my cousins. It sucked, but it definitely gave me a bit of an adrenaline rush to train harder and also change the way I looked at life. No, not at all, unless uh, you count the occasional cold that I catch like every now and then. I probably also caught a case of the big C every now and then, but um, my immunity system has already claimed triumphant on it once, so um, I wouldn't have known. Guys, you already know the answer to that question. The car. Guys, you already know the answer to that question. The car. And also registration and insurance costs that are associated with it. Still can't get over that pre-trip adrenaline rush. Which sucks. Those are literally the days where I, if I don't get a good snuff to sleep, it could turn out deadly. The world has a heartbeat by Vice Tone. Both happier and sadder at the same time. Fatter, but not fatter as in more meat, but more muscle, which is 
Basically just meat anyway, but less tender, so yeah. Richard, that new job is doing me wonders. Making more videos, Um, considering I've done a total of one on this channel this year. I think procrastination is like a key trait of mine by now. You can't really get rid of it easily. But I still wish less of it was done. No, still needs a little bit more uh poetry for me to fall in love with it. Ooh, I watched a lot this year. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, Manifest was pretty good. I've attended this new Christian Connect group this year and um, there's been a lot of people there that I, well, like. The cousin aforementioned in question 24. <sighs> you really want to go there? BMW instruction booklet. The gym that I go to has some pretty fire songs that I play every now and then. So then I shazam them and then I add them to my Spotify playlist and then more and more similar songs appear from there, which means I just get a whole bunch of cool songs. Too many for me to list, uh, but here are the playlists if you guys are interested. Link will be in the description as well if you want to click on them. This car that I always wanted for so many years straight and finally got a significant other. Gosh, this felt so embarrassing to say on camera to a mostly younger than me audience. But hey, at least it was a different response to 2023 Oscar. Why isn't this question grouped together with question 36? Anyway, uh, my tomorrow, your yesterday literally hits different now because of certain reasons. I went go-karting with my friends and had a dinner party at a sushi restaurant with my family, so um, that was cool, I guess. If I didn't procrastinate so much on getting things done sometimes, and A for mention in question 42, I don't even know anymore. Well, I mean, I started wearing like other variety of pants instead of just jeans now because of gym. So um, yeah. There's that. You really want the uh, you really want to know the answer to this question? Um some influencers slash YouTubers slash actors that I have a bit of a crush on. Um I'm not gonna tell you exactly who they are because that is kind of person general take off. That person A for mention in question 19 who passed away in 2021. Not saying once again to protect his or her identity. I might remove this question sometime soon. Always look very carefully for oncoming vehicles before overtaking on the other side. You need literally about a kilometer of space in order to pull this off. So um, I almost didn't live to tell the tale. Do you want me to go optimistic here, guys? I'm gonna hit 10,000 subs. No, that's not gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit uh, deep here. Some self-driving regulations are going to start changing. Me personally, I hope this isn't true. Just saying. Okay, so I gotta react to last year's um predictions and also um message to myself, but um I feel like this might not be the best place to do it, so um let's uh let's do this somewhere else. Oh wait, 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 wait. I gotta remember to turn this off. What a waste of electricity. Oh look, my posters are here. That's more like it. This is super comfortable as well. I can adjust my seat back if I wanted to. Okay, um. Okay, that might be a little bit too far back. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, well, it does not have voice control apparently. Okay. All right, let's pull up the uh, last year's New Year resolution video. Let me just find it. Okay, it should be this timestamp. Okay, so I have two phones right now. Cool. Okay, so what were your predictions? Let's uh, react to this. All right, finally. Okay, this uh, hmm. hmm, wild guesses. By the end of this year, coronavirus will no longer be on our minds. I mean, we had another wave recently, so that doesn't really apply, but sure. International travel is completely back to normal again, except for China. Mars, I think even including china it's back to normal so that's actually good um I, i'm not sure where you can't visit without like having to test i think you still have to test negative in order to go to some countries but other than that they don't really have any restrictions it's just like 10 extra minutes that you have to take like you have to arrive to the airport 10 minutes earlier but then if you test positive then you're forced to quarantine but yeah that's mostly correct masks will no longer be needed for the most part and 
Yeah, 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 true. I would have at some point driven to Adelaide, which is the longest distance I will ever drive. I really hope I'm right for all of these. And that's, and yeah, that's correct. <laughs> um, okay, that predictions were actually surprisingly accurate. But my tripod placement is completely not accurate. So, 2024, Oscar. Hello, how are you doing? I'm gonna show even less respect for you. How was Adelaide? <laughs> it was good, but just, um, please show me a little bit more respect. I, um, Scared of you, kinda, not really. <laughs> I don't know why I want to go down there so bad, but like, how was Adelaide? It's probably because, like, it's just somewhere you haven't been to in a long time. Common sense. Uh, and also, the roads there are, um, decent. Also, did that new car come? It better have freaking came because I've been dreaming about it for nine years now. Don't make it a decade of me dreaming about one thing, but getting empty handed. No, the car, that car hasn't came at all, bro. The, the car, uh, what I'm sitting in here right now is um, just a figment of your, your imagination. Um, this doesn't exist. Yeah, it, it hasn't come yet. Like, did I get it? And if so, how does it drive? How fuel efficient is it? What's its fuel economy? What's its 0 to 100 time? What's its average emissions? How many kilometers is it at? How many kilometers have you driven? Have you done anything to it that might damage the car? Have you driven it off-road, maybe? Have you... I, I, I don't know, just... You don't need to answer all that, just... Okay, I'll see myself out. I, I, I'll see myself out. I, I, I... Listen, 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 listen. Just... Just get that car by this year, alright? Please. Um... I'm sorry to have disappointed you. But, um, you seem to be very enthusiastic about those questions, so um, let's just make up a hypothetical scenario where I did get that car, alright? Let's, let's just make this through. So in this hypothetical scenario, like, once again, it doesn't exist in real life. I mean, it drives alright, uh, the connectivity is a bit bad though. Um, its fuel efficiency is about, uh, 7.5 liters per 100 kilometers. And it's 0 to 100 time, uh, based on... A study is around 8.7 seconds, but then when tested, it's like 9.1. Uh, its current kilometers is at 45,500. Exactly, on the dot, wow. Doing some math, I would have driven at 12,890 kilometers. That would be the amount I've driven. And, um, have I done anything to it? Uh, I mean, like, uh, if you count this, but it's inevitable. Like, if you park in Sydney, you would know that all of this is inevitable. These curbs are not freaking joking around. But this is all in a hypothetical scenario, okay? Um, I don't know, like, how it would actually drive, but let's just say this is all hypothetical. And uh, 2025, Oscar. How are you doing today? How's your gym progress been going? Can you bench 100 kilos? 225 pounds? Or both of them added together? Nah, there's no way. There is no way. And also, have you planned your itinerary for US and Canada yet? Have you booked the hotels, the flights, the everything? Like, have you got it all planned out? And also, it helps this thing. I'm going to drive off now because it is way too hot. So yeah, that concludes this year's uh, New Year's videos. Okay, this is bad idea. Um. Okay, luckily I'm just driving local roads, it's not that bad. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, make sure to um, give it a like. Let's see if we can get to uh, 17 likes on this video. That would be a um, great but unrealistic achievement because these videos don't really get that much views. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's uh, free of charge, surprisingly. And if you want, you can also add the option to buy the notification bell as well for absolutely no extra cost. But other than that, I guess I will see you guys all in my next video.